today let me tell you about what you're about to see a powerful video of the way in which the Lord Jesus used me in Africa in January of this year Jesus came to me in a vision and he said to me if you're going to the nations of the earth you need to go now and the word now was written in capital letters. So I woke up knowing that there was urgency on the word now. The Lord Jesus has also shown me a vision, a short uh, preview, I would call it, of his second coming. That testimony is so awesome. That vision that he has shown me of what his second coming will be like. Is so awesome and it was line upon line interpreted by the Holy Word of God he has also shown me a vision of heaven he has also shown me a vision of the marriage supper and so with these many visions many visions that he has shown me of himself and of what is to come he anointed me to write a book of the things that he has shown to me which is now in the hand of a great publisher strong communications to be released soon and so when he came in january of this year 2007 and he said if you're going to the nations of the earth you need to go now i immediately knew why he wanted me to go to the nations of the earth and that was to release the vision of his second coming and to let and prepare the nations that they have to be ready now now is the time to be on the watch now is the time to be ready. And so what I did was to call the various ministries in Africa that Residence for Christ has been partnering with and various ministries in India to let them know that I will be on my way shortly to have various crusades as well as feeding program because this is a type of work that Residence for Christ has been called to do. The name Residence for Christ was also given to me by Jesus in a vision wherein which he said, he needs, I need to build orphanages around the nations of the earth. You will see a testimony of an old lady miraculously healed from her sunset cancer, stomach cancer. She has been lying in bed for two years, not able to get up, not able to stand up for long. And by listening to the preaching of the gospel, she was not at the crusade. She heard the preaching, my preaching of the gospel through an interpreter. And she believed the word. The word of God says, your faith has made you whole. She believed the word and she was miraculously healed. So be blessed by this video and may the Holy Spirit touch your heart deeply so that you too will be inspired and be used by God to show forth the power and praise of Jesus Christ. Be blessed.
In January of this year, Jesus came to me in a vision. And he said to me, if you're going to the nations of the earth, you need to go now. And so what I did was to call the various ministries in Africa that Residence for Christ has been partnering with to let them know that I will be on my way shortly to have various crusades as well as feeding program because this is a type of work that Residence for Christ has been called to do. And he did a mighty work for you. And he's asking you tonight, will you come home? Come home to your daddy. Let your daddy lavish his love. Come out of the world of sin. There is nothing for you in there. All this sheep. Don't sell your soul cheap. Your soul is valuable. Money can't buy your soul. It's either eternal hell or eternal heaven. And Jesus makes sure as he sits at the right hand of the Father 
that his blood tonight will get you eternal heaven for he said it is appointed unto man once to die you will not get a chance to come back on earth one day only once and after that is the judgment and when you appear before the judgment seat and father God begin to interview you it's either eternal heaven or eternal hell and it is his blood that is going to give you eternal heaven because he paid the price in full and he said Satan look Satan went to heaven and said father that one is a thief that one is a murderer that one is a fornicator I deserve to have him with me in hell but Jesus stepped in and said no I pay the price for him my blood wash him and make him clean let him go eternal heaven hallelujah 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 invite you into this prayer that will ensure that you belong to Jesus that Satan this dragon become a loser over your life and you will look back and laugh at the enemy and say I want to be on the winning side I want to be with Jesus I want to come out of this world I want to live forever pray with me Jesus Jesus I come before you tonight as a sinner wash me cleanse me from my sin deliver me from the hands of Satan wash me with your blood make me your child I want to be born again by your spirit cleanse me from all unrighteousness as of tonight Satan no longer my father Jesus Christ has become my heavenly father as of tonight I am born again by the spirit of the living God hallelujah Jesus said if it's even one of you which is a whole lot of you tonight that come to me he said all angels in heaven are throwing a party for you right now welcoming you into the throne of glory and Satan is not mad at it means more than one the name is called Elohim which means more than one so who was this more than one God? the Bible says all three bear witnesses in heaven the word the father and the holy spirit and all three are one Bless his holy name. So tonight, the scripture says, the word became flesh and dwell among us. The scripture says, all things, the trees, the skies, the earth, all things were made by him. All things were made by the word, the living word that existed with the Father. The Bible says, without him was not anything made that was made. 
The Bible says nasema, he came into the world akaja duniani, and the world na dunia, was made by him. Na ye, and when he came na through the Virgin Mary, the world did not recognize dunia him. He even came to his very own Hata and wake. his own did not receive him. But here is the good news. This is what he says. As for many that receive him, to them wow. he will give power to become the sons of God. Wow. To them, wow. which means you, it means me, it means you, it means you, it means you. It means you. And to you that receive him. Praise the Lord. Amen. I bring good news. Good news. The only way tonight is through the foot of the cross. And I will not delay tonight to share with you my recent vision of Jesus Christ's second coming. It was only recently in the year 2000 I went to sleep very early that night and I had a dream a most disturbing dream the vision was so real I thought it was the end of the world I saw the heavens burst wide open with a mighty glow and I saw Jesus Christ the righteous the son of the living God I saw him nailed to the cross in the sun. He was naked. He was wearing the crown of thorns on his head. His feet were together pierced. His hands were together nailed to the cross. It was so real. I thought it was the end of the world. There was a feeling that time was ended. The time has come. The time has come. The day of the wrath of God has come. Then I heard the thunder roll. And I bent over like this. I saw the lightning flash. And caught all the powers that the world was in darkness. And I stopped my breath. And I bent over. Waiting to hear the sound. Many of you, when you, win, you may be laughing tonight. You may think that the cross is a joke. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ is real. But over 2,000 years ago, he went to the cross and it was because of your sins it was because he loves you and the word of the living God says for God so loves you that he sent his only son 
Huyo surrealiste. He died for you. Alikufia Jesus Christ Jesus Christ who was the living word who existed with the Father long before the creation of the world came down to earth in the form of flesh in the form of a man Give him praise. Give him 
Jesus Christ loves you. Ya kwamba Yesu Kristo anawapenda. That Jesus Christ loves you. Yesu Kristo anawapenda. And he's coming back again. Na anarudi tena. And he wants you to be ready. Na anataka muwe tayari. He's coming back again. Na anarudi tena. And he wants you to be ready. Na anataka muwe tayari. Tonight you may ask me how do you know? Jioni leo pengine unaweza niuliza how you know that Jesus is coming? Unajua Yesu anarudi tena? Since I was a child. Tangia nikuwe mtoto. I heard that he's coming. Nilisikia anarudi. I don't see him yet. Na bado sijamwona. And now I'm an old man. Najua mimi ni mtu mkubwa. Now I'm an old woman. Sasa mwanamke mkubwa. I'm about to die. Ndio karibu kufa. I still don't see this. Bado sioni huyu Yesu. But I'm here to tell you tonight. Ipo hapa jioni leo kuambia I come here tonight. To point you to the way. Poelekezea hapo njia. The way. Njia. The only way. Njia pekee. To salvation. Ya wokovu. Is through the cross. Kupitia msalaba of Jesus. Wa Yesu Kristo. The word of God says. Neno la Mungu linasema. The cross. Msalaba is to those that are perishing. Ni kwa wale wanaoangamia. It sounds like foolishness. Na kana kwamba ni upumbavu. But to us who are saved, we know it's the power of the living God that brings forth salvation. And uh, just yesterday, while Minister Marlon Brown was ministering, uh, his mother just believed, and uh, when she was praying for the sick at the crusade, there at home she believed, and God instantly healed her. Let Pastor Agri tell us what happened. Oh, I am very happy when the dear sister was preaching. My mom was at home and she was ill. We were just thinking that maybe next month we shall bury her. But I want to thank when she was preaching and praying. My mother was healed completely. When we went back after the crusade, we met mommy cooking food. He, she had eaten, she came unto my house, she was really rejoicing. Today she slept, a very mild slept, and she woke up around uh, at uh, 7. She's very joyful, she's uh, happy, she's praising God. So I want to thank God for our lady who came here in Kenya, especially in Musampa here, and we really received her, and I've seen a mighty miraculous thing happening. So I want to thank God for her sermon and God who brought her here, he had a purpose. I want to praise God for her and I pray for her that may God make her do the work of God anywhere she'll be sent to go and preach the gospel. So I'm grateful that my mother has been healed and I'm happy and praising God for that. That's the testimony I have to say that may God bless our dear sister and bless the bishop of this uh, ministry and all the brothers who send this dear brother, dear sister to come and preach to us. My name is Agri Wandawa. Yes, Pastor Agri. Yes. Tell us how long has your mother been sick? My mother was slow, is now two years. Two years? Yes. Uh, what happened to her? She was not working? What? Mother, my mother had no strength even to stand. She could not stand? She could not stand. Mm -hmm. Even eating, she could just get, eat a little meal. All right, now she's very okay and even she could not sleep. Have you taken her to hospital? I tried to general hospital, Bungoma, nothing happened. I took her to Mumiasi, nothing happened. Uh, which kind of sickness has, been, has he, she been suffering uh, from? She had been saying that it is a, they were saying that maybe it is cancer uh, because she was uh, having a stomach ache. Mm -hmm. mm. And God has healed her. This is the home of uh, Flora Makomere, the mother of, uh, mother of Pastor Egre, who was very sick in a very bad condition and uh, they were just expecting her to die at any time at lost hope completely. What God can really do is that she comes out.
she has been uh, she has not been sitting for quite a long time. She's visited so many hospitals. But yesterday, after hearing the message from the crusade, from her home, she believed. And right away, the power of God was so strong, she was healed. There Flora sits down peacefully after a very long time. They're together with her son, Pastor Agri. See her closely. What a miracle God can do after a very long time. God is able. She has, she has rejoiced in the Lord. She has not been sick this tonight. Mm -hmm. She said that God is so glorified. She, she is so good to Him. And glory to God. That's why she has said that this tonight she must come to testify. Really has made her reach this church. She has come to glorify God. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. She said that God is good. God is good. He has healed her. The neck was really painful. Right now she's okay. Really she has come. She has entered the house of the Lord. The stomach is not feeling pain. And she has Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The shepherd to her. May God bless you. Mm. Program down there. Just step on the, the, the three of them. Three. Three of them. Three. This one, this one, and this one. In between. Yeah. Oh, it's going down. No, it's not. No, it's not going. It cannot. It cannot. It cannot. It cannot. You are making it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Glory! <laughs> it is now Mama Pauline. We have just arrived in this, uh, one of the houses in Kitale, where our sister will be visiting the needy. They are getting the house. And to say you are, we thank you for coming. Uh, when I got a word that you are to come in today, I uh, used her house because it is a bit isolated from the slum. The other ladies are from the slum. Are from the slum. And uh, they come to our church too. Pia huwa kwa Amen. 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 Uh, we get brethren like you. We're entering in the orphanage. Mm. 
this is uh, the orphanage. Children from the orphan. Yes. Posing for a photo. You got anything? Yes. Yeah? Good. Yeah, they use this water for washing. Washing. But they have two drums over there that they use for drinking. Yes. Number two. Thank God for this opportunity. I thank God for Pastor Marlin, who has been a, a great blessing to us, coming all the way from Canada. She has really been a blessing to me personally. We've worked together in the Crusades, and I do not take it for granted for being her interpreter. Uh, I know it's not by my truth, by power, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, we are doing this work. It has really taken the hand of God and for sure you can say he's a Benessa, this fire has brought us. I thank God for the Ministry of Music, I've been ministering in. He has really blessed me and it has been a great blessing to these people. We count it a blessing. We've seen God in this meeting and he has given us breakthrough since we came here. We've seen souls coming to Christ, people have been helped, people have been touched. And we count it a, a big blessing. Therefore God bless you Pastor Marlin as you go back. Go with our greetings to the people in Canada. May God bless your soul.